Trump UFO Gang. I'm back with another video. Welcome to Tech Figure Out. Um, I just want to show y'all another video that some of my, um, you know, viewers, you know, asked me to uh, drop a couple videos on. Uh, and it's real short and simple. Um, but I just wanted to just provide that information and drop that knowledge. So I know y'all see this here. What I got here is uh, a couple different ratchets. So what I want to do is talk about the ratchets. Now these ratchets that I do have, um, you know, I do have a couple half inches uh, sitting out here. Uh, but what I want to explain to you guys today is the difference in these ratchets. Um, of course, ratchets come in different sizes. Uh, you got a quarter inch, you got three eighths, and you got half inch. Uh, this here, what I'm holding is a half, it's a half inch. This is your larger you know ratchet i'll go over to a half inch um and what i want to explain to you guys today is the difference in what they are how they work uh what they do so right here what i'm holding is a half inch ratchet uh it's a walmart brand that i went and bought uh hardy brand it's from walmart um, and uh, this ratchet is basically designed uh, here at the half inch rating, designed to uh, tackle bolts. Um, but again, uh, your ratchet itself is used to literally loosen or tighten a bolt. That's it. Um, this tool here is not designed to torque, it's not designed to break. It's not designed to do any of those things that I just said. Um, it is only designed to literally loosen the bolt or tighten the bolt. That's it. And uh, a lot of people get the conception of it confused, thinking that you can tighten uh, your components down uh, to specifications with this. If you can't, what you will end up doing is breaking this tool and costing yourself some money. Uh, we want to do that, right? Uh, then what I got here next uh, is your half inch breaker bar. So your breaker bar is designed, looks like a ratchet, right? Um, got the setup, you know, the same design almost as a, you know, a ratchet just doesn't have the ratchet and you know tool at the top you know anything like that so it has a head right um and it's, it's designed specifically here unlike the ratchet itself to break bolts loose and that's it so let's say for instance you're in a scenario where you got this rusted old caliper bolt or this rusted engine bolt um on the crankshaft and you really need to break this bolt loose um, and you just can't get it loose with the, you know, the turns that you're trying to turn with the ratchet. What you do is you take this breaker bar and you take it and you find yourself the correct fitting of the socket and you literally spray yourself a little bit of uh, PB Blaster, WD-40, uh, the product of, you know, uh, that nature or similar on that bolt and uh this should get the job done um just give yourself some you know some elbow grease you put some strength to it you pop it loose and then that bolt should come off with a breaker bar um if it's anything beyond it not breaking you you're, you're having issues with the you know a rusted bolt a welded on bolt uh the in between the materials uh you're looking at something like maybe heating up that bolt and then applying the breaker bar again or you're looking at maybe uh, heating up that bolt and uh, maybe cutting it off. Um, but this should get the job done for any rusted bolt. I say try this first before you go heating up anything or trying to cut anything. Try to try to break a bar. The break a bar should get those bolts loose um, in most cases. Then what I have for you guys here is a Pittsburgh clip-type torque wrench uh, that I own. 
I own a different couple of uh, truck cars. I own a couple uh, torque wrenches, but uh, this is my first one that I own. And uh, click type, uh, you got a couple different types. You got the analog type and you got the digital type. Uh, what I want to show you guys here is uh, a couple different things. Is the, the, the differences between the ratchet and this tool I have here, the breaker bar. Now the breaker bar is not a ratchet. Looks like a ratchet. It has a ratchet and um, design in it, but it's not a ratchet. It's just not a ratchet. You don't use this tool to uh, take loose uh, bolts. You don't use it to tighten the bolt. You only use this tool to torque your bolts, your screws down to specification. That's it. A lot of people um, ignore this tool, but this tool is very important uh, to a uh, technician's uh, toolbox. Um, I mean, uh, the thing that I believe about them is uh, they do work. I do think that they, uh, you know, um, get the job done when it comes to torquing. A lot of people still get torquing confused and think that torquing is a, you know, a myth um, and that you can just use your, you know, your ratchet to torque down your boat. But in reality, what you're doing is damaging your boat or you're either damaging that component. Um, and that is why the automotive industry designed this, this tool here because this tool is basically designed to not do the things that you would be basically doing or potentially doing um, when you're trying to over tighten your components down with a ratchet or a breaker bar. So what you want to do is get yourself a torque wrench because when you get this torque wrench, what you're doing is um, ensuring yourself that you're safely torquing down your bolts, your lugs, and everything, or even that, for that matter, you, you know, you're doing this, you know, uh, for a career, you know, you're making sure that you're getting the customer's bolts and, uh, you know, and everything torqued back down to uh, manufacturer's recommendation. Um, so don't forget that. I just wanted to mention that about the breaker bar. Um, use the breaker bar. I mean, your torque wrench. I'm sorry, excuse me. Use the torque wrench. It's uh, very important. Um, the reason I say that again is because I've seen a lot of uh, scenarios, uh, co-workers or people I work with, um, where they, you know, would not even, um, you know, torque down, you know, bolts and, you know, things like that, um, and would just, you know, send a customer out fly out. Um, and it would eat me up, so I, you know, wouldn't allow it, and of course, you know, the professionalism in me would, you know, go behind that technician's work, um, and, you know, torque the, you know, nut, the lug, or whatever it is, may be down. Uh, I'm not going to get too into it, you know, uh, but I've been in some scenarios to where, you know, you guys won't believe it. Um, so I'm here to give you guys the real, and I want you guys to know um, that, you know, uh, the, the importance and the safety behind these tools. Um, so if you're really interested in learning, um, just continue to follow, continue to watch, continue to learn. Continue to listen. Uh, I'm going to give you all the knowledge that I have. Uh, I'm going to be dropping, you know, uh, knowledge on you guys, um, gems, anything that I get that I come across, any questions that you have that you not guys need to get answered, I will answer them. I will get back to your question, um, respond as soon as I possibly can. I just want to get the time to finally interact with you guys. You know, on a, a personal level, get to know you guys a little more. Um, I know you guys like, you know, damn, this dude drops all these videos and, you know, we don't see him. We just see him working on it. But this is me. This is who I am. Um, this is beyond the profile picture. I really want to get a chance to uh, interact with you guys. Um, see
get you guys things. You guys can get me some things, maybe. Um, but uh, I do want to let you guys know that, uh, you know, I'm just not dropping videos because, you know, I'm some guy that just works. Um, I take this serious. Uh, this is my career. Uh, currently in school, um, you know, um, I'm, I'm doing all the things I can, you know, work-wise and, you know, extracurricular-wise to, you know, continue to expand my knowledge. And I want to continue to, you know, give it to you guys uh, so I have that game. Uh, of course, um, try to be thorough. Some videos you might, you know, get me dragging it out, but I just want to make sure that the knowledge that I'm giving you guys is extensive and it's understandable. I just don't want you guys going out there on the limb like, oh God, I didn't really understand what he said. Or let me go back and watch that video. It really didn't make sense. I want y'all to know what I'm saying. Or even if I missed the points, I want you guys to know that you can always um, reach out in the comment and say, hey, um, I've heard this or maybe can you explain this a little better? And I will. Um, but uh, yeah, last but not least, the torque wrench is important. Um, I want you guys to know that this is the most um, important tool uh, in the automotive industry. Uh, without it, it doesn't ensure safety. This tool here, this ratchet, that's not a ratchet, it's a torque wrench, is to ensure safety of both. So this is important. and. Uh, I will continue to stress the importance of torquing. Um, and uh, yeah, you guys continue to torque away. Uh, thanks for watching TFO Gang. Um, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. And uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate all y'all. I'm out.